this new build I found that I like to call the two-way point sharp is breaking NBA 2K23. A build with a 99 steal and a Hall of Fame glove, giving it one of the most overpowered stats in 2K history to pair with a high block rating, high perimeter defense, and solid rebounding and interior defense gives it elite defense in NBA 2K23. Not only that, but this build's offense is almost unstoppable with a 90 ball handle unlocking every dribble move in the game for its height. 85 three-pointer where I can shoot from anywhere and shoot from half court anywhere on the court and fade everything I want while going 7 for 7 whenever I want. And let's not forget it unlocks the most unblockable dunks and fastest dunks in the game. All of this with max wingspan and one of the fastest iso builds in the game at 6-7. This is the two-way point sharp. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, I got y'all with another broken build. So y'all make sure to drop a like for more broken build videos, because y'all already know, I'm going to be making builds regardless all year long, just like I always do. Y'all make sure to subscribe to the channel for more banger videos, because we are on this legend grind. So if you are new to the channel, y'all make sure to subscribe. We got some banger videos, streams on the way, okay? Now, if you've made any of my other builds or if this is your first build video you are watching, we have tons of other builds that I have created that are also very good, just as good as this build, maybe even better in your eyes than this build. And they're all on the channel. So if you don't like this build, maybe you'll like another build video that's on the channel. So go check it out. But I feel like six sevens are very underrated in NBA 2K23. So I have a six seven glitchy build that I found for y'all today. This is my record with this build. We have a 94 win percent. I am on the legend grind with this build. I have won events with this build. And I also recently just hit level 40 with this build in like four or five days of season two. But anyways, we're going to be showing gameplay of this build, how to make this build, and what badges I would run on this build, and why I made this build. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this video, man. Let's get it. Alright, so we are going to get straight into this gameplay. Boom, we're starting off with a snatch block. Yes, this build gets very good blocks, has very good defense, gets a ton of steals. I'm going to be showing 5v5 stage rec event gameplay. Look at another snatch block in the rec. I've been playing a lot of rec events, threes, twos, ones with this build. This build can literally do it all. This is all from just playing one guy right here. Look at how many steals I get on this guy. Yes, this build gets a 99 steal. I get every steal I want. I can get Hall of Fame glove. It's actually overpowered. And 2K has, has no plans on patching steals. So that's why I made this build. And that's why this build's de defensively, the offense is already crazy on this build. Defensively, absolutely insane. We're going to be showing full games um, as well as two in this gameplay. I'm just showing a couple clips. Yes, this build can fade. This build can shoot from half court. This is probably the best shooting build I have. It's also 6'7". So it has a faster jump shot faster release speed um, to get off the jump shot faster so defenders can't close out as much than the, the, my 6-9 builds, right? Um, so yeah, this build can shoot from very deep. It gets all the sharp takeovers. I love fading with this build. The, the fading is absolutely so overpowered on this build. You're going to see how good the shooting is in a couple clips here soon. The driving is also very good on this build. It only gets an 80 driving dunk, but that's because I don't, for my play style, I just take wide open dunks. If you're like me and you don't go for contact dunks really, and you just take your open dunks, this build is perfect for that and take, to take advantage of the extra attributes because we're going to get the most unblockable dunks, the fastest dunks, as you can see right here, so nobody can block them. But so we can score efficiently you know what i'm saying uh and look at i'm making heavily contested layups for the win in rec center as well we're gonna have some more rec center clips as well but look at the stats and put them on the rack i mean we're talking about triple doubles we're talking 40 point games shooting very good from three getting 10 plus steals a game absolutely insane now let's show some full gameplay here as you can see we're gonna only show games me playing level 40s that are goat tiers maybe not all level fours but all goat tiers and if you, to be a goat tier you have to be a very good player your win percent has to be high you have to win consistent and you have to play good as well too so as you can see we get a steal after forcing a bad layup we get a three we get another nice dunk with our unblockable dunks and the drill moves are very good on this build because you get a 90 ball handle so i unlock all the damian lillard moves and any future season moves that i need a 90 ball handle for him and there's no point of going 92 ball handle on this build because 
you can't get Trey Young and Stephen Curry moves uh, at this height anyway. So you technically do unlock all the drill moves you could possibly get at 6'7". As you see, we're sparking this dude up. And once again, the interior defense is very good on this build. The perimeter defense is very good on this build. So we're going to get stops. We're going to stop that rim run. We have a high block as well. And we're going to get up threes. Look at, we're shooting yellow contested. We're getting a lot of threes up. I don't even need to drive with this build. I could. I could just go quick drop every possession. But look at, seven for eight from three. We are efficient against comp. Look at, another GOAT tier player that's shooting 58% from three, which is very good. Look at first shot. Boom. Great. And, it, and this is in the beginning when I first started playing on this build, even though it was like basically maxed out maxed out because I was playing a lot of micer. I, I wasn't really, you know, hip to the 90 ball handle drill moves because all my builds have 85, 87 ball handle. Now I'm moving way faster. But look at I'm getting up threes. It's already 10 to zero. I can get standing dunks on this build too. Very good standing lamps as well. This dude can't guard me. These are GOAT tiers, y'all. These are good players, and I'm making them look trash with this build. Look at spin back, green right over those. 18 to 0. You thought I'm taking the two? No, we shooting over those. Can we check the three point? Five for five from three. Eight for eight. 21 0 against a GOAT tier. That's not all, y'all. Another level 40 right here try hard who's on a 6 8 we're playing 6 8s we're playing 6 9s we're playing builds that are faster none of these builds can hold my build when you master my build it's over look at contested layup bro the driving is very good on this build as long as you don't really care too much about contact dunks this build is very very good bro okay look at we have a good rebound we have good interior defense look at spin back we're too fast for that this build is way faster than six eights and six nines because of the acceleration boost it gets because of the more dribble moves it gets and i'm not and these aren't even showing clips of me going crazy with the dribble moves like, i'm telling you right now i'm actually going crazy with them and this like i said the, the shooting is insane it has an 85 three-pointer but I don't miss. I'm telling you, I really don't miss. I, I, I shoot 64% from the three-point line right now with this build. And look at, I'm cooking up 22 to two. Let's go ahead and look at those stats again, because I'm not just cutting up clips and cutting out my misses. Look at six for six from three. Look at, we're playing another level 40 goats here. Look at, look at how badly I make this dude look. 99 overall little 40 goats here okay look at we start off with a dunk then we do a spin back three y'all already know that's green five to zero right step back we doing the De'Aaron Fox over to the right and we get another three and that's eight to zero already little you know crossover boom 11 to zero step back again De'Aaron Fox spin back we going back over to the right we get a, get to our spot and we green 14 to zero now we got takeover we got double takeover actually Look at, we hopping around. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's starting to get a little bumps, but it don't matter because we can fade too. Good luck guarding my fade on this build, 17 to zero. Look at, look, at, look at us going crazy. Another fade over you, over your head, 20 to zero. You thought I was done? Spin back, you're there? Okay. Damian Lillard, step back to the limitless. Bang, 23 zero on a go tier level, 99 overall. Seven for seven from three. This build don't miss. Y'all thought that was all. Oh, let's show some red gameplay, bro. This is red gameplay of me playing with randoms. I don't know a single player on this team. It, we're down two, right? Spin back three. I'm like, okay, I need to take over. Now we got a one-point lead, and my team wasn't getting no spots. St stops, okay? Now, remember, I'm playing with randoms, okay? I don't know any of these people, okay? I'm, I'm not even trolling. We up one now after that three. Of course, my teammates don't get a stop. Look at So I need another three. Now we up one again. That's three threes in a row. And, of course, my team does not get a stop again. So now we down one again. So I'm fighting for threes. They're running the zone. They're like doubling and stuff. Look at Faye from damn near the logo. I miss, but it's okay. We get the ball back. We're down three. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They know that it's going to me. They know I'm trying to get a three. Look at we going over to the right. That's another fade. No energy. Green. Tie game. 21 seconds. We get our stop. We need it. Five seconds. Energy down and low. I dot the corner. We win the game. Boom. That's the gameplay I'm showing y'all. Now let's go ahead and show you guys how to make this build. All right, we are finally in the builder, and it's time to create this 6-7 glitchy build, what I like to call the two-way point sharp, okay? Now, we're going to get into it now. Position, a lot of people always ask me about position. Now, on current gen, it might affect your takeovers, but next gen, I'm telling you, this is positionless basketball. So just pick whatever position you want the game to put you at, whether it's the threes, you want to be at the two guard, the one, the three. If you're playing the fives, you want to be at the two, the one, the three, the four, the five. You can literally put it at whatever you want, basically, 
uh, maybe except like center. You could probably get away with power forward even. But I'm going to go with point guard. That's what I'm going with. So like I said, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, small forward. It really it doesn't matter. You can pick whatever one. Handness, that's personal preference. I always go left-handed. And we go on one for Derrick Rose. You already know how I rock. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, height is 6'7". Yes, this build is 6'7". That is going to give us the ability to get 99 steals. The tallest height you can get at 99 steal. And now with the weight, we're going to go all the way down to 180 pounds. And then we're going to go up until it lowers our acceleration or our speed with ball. And boom, 183 puts us down a speed with ball. So we're going to go down to 182 just to make this as fast as possible. Now, I'm not even going to go max speed with ball. So that's not even going to matter too much. But I don't know. I feel like, you know, the less way, the faster your player going to move regardless. Y'all can go a little higher until it goes down the acceleration. Like, yeah, I went 84, but it's not going to matter too much, okay? Wingspan, we're going to go maximum wingspan, okay? Max wingspan so we can get all those steals, all those blocks, better dunks, you know, sh longer, everything longer arms do. You know what I'm saying? Body shape, I went compact. Doesn't really matter too much. We're going to move on to the stats. Remember, you have plus four extra badges that you can use that you get from becoming a starter in my current which is attainable from any player it's very easy to do so so we're gonna take that into effect when we're making this build plus you're gonna get your extra badges that you get from hitting uh level 39 if you ever do that but i'm not gonna affect that too much with this build anyways we're gonna start with the driving we're gonna want that 80 driving dunk for the quick drops off one which is the most unblock unblockable dunk package in the game now like i said this build's not gonna get contact dunks because for my play style like i said i made this build for myself a lot of people have been asking for it so i'm gonna tell y'all why i do certain things so i do 80 dunk because i don't really go for contact dunks i always just dunk the ball when it's a wide open dunk so all i need to do that is an 80 driving dunk to get the most unblockable dunk in the game and then we need some extra badges here so we can get that silver limitless takeoff at a tier three badge because we're gonna need at least 50 actually we're gonna need at least 16 driving badges to unlock that tier three badge so we're going to go up to a 78 driving layup, which is going to give us Hall of Fame Pro Touch. And then we're going to do a 68, actually 67 close shot. So we can get bronze fast twitch. That's going to give us 13 driving badges. And you can use with those four extra badges you can use. We're going to use three of them on just finishing. So we're going to have 16 at the end of the day, which is literally way more than enough. A lot of people like to compare their badge counts. Oh, my build's better because of this badge count. Badge count does really is like very like... It does not matter as much as y'all think. Y'all think just because you have more badges, your build's better. When in reality, there's not a lot of good, for example, shooting badges. You don't even need really more than 18 shooting badges unless you have like a 99.3 you can use more on. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's move on. So with the three-pointer, we want that silver limitless on this build, which is going to be 85 three-pointer. We also get silver agent threes. And I'm not upgrading anything else in shooting. That's it. 18 shooting badges is, I already find, way more than enough. I don't even need 18. So that's way more enough. We're not going to waste any more attributes on that. Now, with the ball handle, we're going to go with a 90 ball handle, which is going to give us those Damian Lillard moves and a bunch of extra drill moves. There's no point of even trying to get a 92 ball handle because Stephen Curry and Trey Young moves you can't get at 6'7 height. Anyways, now, with the pass accuracy, we're going to go with a 75 so we can get that LeBron James passing style. Speed ball, there's no point of going higher than a 75. Uh, if you guys didn't know, speed ball does not affect how fast you move with the ball. I know that's crazy to say because it literally says speed with ball. But this has been tested by 2K Labs. It's been tested by a lot of people. So all you need is 75 so you unlock the dribble moves needed. Now, we have 19 badges. So what I'm going to do is actually give a plus one to pass accuracy, which is going to give us another extra playing badge. And then we're going to do a plus two to this ball. Oh, wait, no, not ball handle. A plus two with this field ball, which is going to give us another extra badge. So we're going to have 21 playmaking badges. Moving on to the defense, 68 uh, interior defense is always the money spot for me. That's You're going to see a lot of my builds on my channel with the 68 interior because I always get great contests with the 68 interior. I don't need to go higher. Permanent defense, 87, so we can get silver clamps and Hall of Fame menace. Steel, 99, which is going to give us Hall of Fame interceptor and Hall of Fame glove. And then we're going with the 87 block, so we can get silver anchor. Now, don't worry too much. I know we can't get an 88 block, but Chase Town Artist is not that good anyways. So gold chase, even if you're going to use chase, is good enough. And we also get a rebound on this build compared to my other builds. We get a 68 rebound, which might seem low to some of you, but that's actually very high, in my opinion, uh, for this build. Now, 65 is the cutoff of 
or 66 is the cutoff for that attribute so we're just gonna leave it like that for now but you're gonna see in a second why we may as well put it up to 68 so 23 defensive bad is uh acceleration we're maxing that out because if you guys didn't know acceleration is how fast your build moves okay so especially on twos ones all that stuff speed we're going 78 usually i go a 70 speed on my build uh but i made this build a lot before a, a lot like before i figured out that 70 speed is the money spot you don't need to go higher so if you want to with this build you can put the speed down to a 70 and like adjust other stats around okay but we're going to talk about more things you can adjust in a second here once i max this build out uh 60 vertical for those quick drops animations and then a 95 stamina now we have some extra points and stuff you can move around then this is the build i have right i have this exact build right here this is what it looks like and i think i did a yeah plus one a close shot this is my exact builds the exact stats the exact bad is i did plus three bad is the finishing and i did plus two badges to playmaking and plus one to driving because i got uh, my four extra badges and i also got two other extra badges from hitting level 39 in two seasons now anyways what you could do is obviously take one off close shot you can take two off of defense rebound and you can even if you want to if you trust the speed you can even go down to 70 speed and then upgrade what you want from there if you want more finishing and you want to put your extra badges somewhere else you can do that if you want to hire if you don't trust the speed with ball thing i'm talking about you can upgrade that you want to hire pass layers so you can upgrade that you want to hire prim d interior defense maybe a higher rebounder you can do that maybe if you want strength on this build you can do that but yeah for my build this is what it looks like i have a 78 speed 68 defensive rebound and 68 close shot now if we move on this is the takeovers against we get shot creating take sharp take play take and lock take now personally i use the best takeover in the game which is limitless and then i also use the best lock take in the game which is either extreme clamps or perimeter badge drop perimeter badge drop is actually kind of op because it lowers their unpluckable with a 99 steel so i might switch to that soon i don't know but this is what i've been rocking with sometimes i interchange extreme clans with limitless range from primary to secondary especially if i'm on the ones court but anyways we're gonna go ahead and continue now now i call this build the two-way point sharp because i think things that i just think it describes it better but the build name it gives it is a two-way three-point shot creator which is pretty similar anyways now let's go ahead and test the build and show you guys what bad is i will use when it's maxed out now my build is basically maxed out at this point i think it's i i have it at 99 but i just uh, don't, haven't upgraded the free throw yet because i'm not spending the vc on that and i have every core badge and all that stuff i just don't have my core badge on finishing right now but we're gonna just show it in this menu anyways so i'm gonna start with silver fearless uh and then you could do a bronze rise up silver acrobat and then after that is really up to you at that point you can go giant slayer since you're probably going to be playing a lot of players that are taller considering most players in the game are you know six and nine so you can go like gold giant slayer or whatever uh but personally that th that's probably the best way to go or even if you're like boxer or something and you want to do a drop step you put on bronze drop stepper and then of course your um your three extra badges are going to go to finishing and you'll be able to core limitless take off on silver and then put slithery in my opinion on bronze or maybe if you want to do posterizer uh, on you know bronze whatever your choice wants to be so let's act like that is available right there because you will be putting your three extra badges over there so you can unlock that tier three badge anyways moving on to the shooting gold green machine one of the best badges of the game uh amped gold another great shooting badge and then after that when it comes to the tier one and tier two personally i don't need anything else after that i told y'all there's not a lot of good shooting badges in the game and 18 is way more than enough but since we have to put some on some extra ones I put on Hall of Fame Clutch Shooter, and then I go ahead, Core Silver Agent 3s, and then I do Silver Limitless Range, and this is the exact badge setup I be running, and I be going crazy with that badge setup, I ain't gonna lie to you. Playmaking badges, of course, we get Hall of Fame Quick First Step on this build. Woo, that is a good badge in this game, let me tell you. Now, after that, with the Tier 1 and Tier 2 badges, there's nothing else that interests me or that seems useful to me. Sometimes I'd be doing Silver Floor Journal, Silver Dimer, but not that's not all the time. That's only when I'm playing 5, sometimes 3s. Uh, I usually go with Vice Grip if I'm on the 1s. You can even go, like, Hyper Drive if you guys want to. But, the, you know, it's really up to you. So, yeah, Hyper Drive, Vice Grip, Floor Journal, Dimer, whatever you want to go with. But after that, when it comes to the Tier 3 badges, what I do is I Core Gold Clamp Breaker, I get Silver Handles for days, and then I also get 
gold unpluckable because I put two extra badges to my playmaking. So just act like this is gold because I'm my main builder is gold. I'll show you guys um in the park in a second what my badges are looking like right now on there. And then defense, what we go with is we go with silver anchor. I go with bronze chase down just to unlock those chase down animations because they're not that good this year. I go gold workhorse hall of fame menace actually core hall of fame glove which i do have core right now and then we go with gold challenger this is an insanely good defensive setup in my opinion and it works very well if you want to you can even you know replace challenger with clamps i don't think clamps is that good in this game um you can also put on interceptor but personally i already get a lot of good lane but now that we're in the park as you can see i am a 98 overall we're going to show you my exact badges that I do have on in the park. This is what we're looking like right now. All I have to do is upgrade free throw, but I don't want to waste the VC on that. We have a 93 win percent, 64 percent from the three point line, which is absolutely crazy. I don't have my cord finishing badges, but if I were, I'd put it on Slither and Post Riser. I don't know why. I usually have Aerial Wizard for threes, but now that I'm not playing threes, I'll put it back on Giant Slayer and Rise Up. But yeah, there's my driving badges right now uh yeah we don't have anything core this is the only slot i don't have something core because limitless take off six so, takes so long to core something now the shooting on threes i do run silver corner otherwise yes i go hall of fame clutch shooter and this is the exact lineup i'd be running i do have agent threes cord now with the playmaking bad is like i told y'all earlier silver diamond silver, silver floor general sometimes i run but on the ones, silver vice grip. You can even put on hyper drive if you want to. Defense, I did get an extra badges from season two. So I got Hall of Fame workhorse. And we're running the exact same lineup I told y'all about earlier. So this is my badge. My badge count 16, 18, 23, 24. And yeah, if y'all have more extra badges, if you're watching this later in the season, I would put it on playing your defense. Those are the extra badge points that I'm going to be putting on for the rest of this season because there's literally zero reason to have more finishing, in my opinion. And I already have way more than enough shooting badges uh, for this build. So yeah, playing in defense is going to be the only badges I just continue to add to with my extra badges from 39. And maybe if there's extra badges for legend. These are my attributes right now. Like I said, all I have is free throw. I could get 99, but I don't want to upgrade the free throw. I don't really care for it too much. I'd be grinning free throws in the rec regardless of the 34 free throw. So it don't matter too much to me. But anyways, y'all, this video helped you out at all. Make sure to drop a like of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We have way more banger content on the way. I'm on this legend grind as well. So make sure y'all turn on notifications. Drop a like. His legend is on the way, of course. And that has been my two-way point sharp build video for y'all hopefully you guys enjoy but anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace